Thank you for choosing Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center for your child's care. Cincinnati Children's is recognized as one of the top children's hospitals in the world. We look forward to serving you and your family during your upcoming visit. Your child must be accompanied by parents or legal guardians who are prepared to be with your child at all times and take care of your child. If you are unable to assume this role, please bring additional caregivers such as a nanny or an adult family member capable and willing to help with the child's care. If your child's treatment requires that you stay for an extended period, you may want to bring other children you have, but they must attend school in the United States. Please be aware that the school may charge a tuition fee. To help ensure you have all that you need during your stay, we recommend that you bring a five to seven day supply of any special foods that your child needs. During your first few days, we can help you find a way to obtain a new supply of these special foods for the rest of your stay. A sufficient supply of medications for your child and anyone traveling with you. It is not easy to obtain medication from U.S. pharmacies. A doctor's visit and prescription are often required. Any medical equipment your child needs. All medical records related to your child's illness translated into English. CDs with images such as MRIs, CT scans, x-rays, pathology slides, and your child's immunization records. The full name and contact information of your child's doctor so that we can communicate with him or her about your child's treatment plan when you return home. Electrical transformers and adapters to make your electrical equipment compatible with U.S. electric outlets, which operate at 110 volts or 60 hertz. A mobile phone that will work in the U.S. Depending on your phone service plan, your mobile phone may or may not work when you arrive in the United States. If your mobile phone does not work in the U.S., you can purchase a SIM card compatible with the U.S. network at a local mobile phone store. Your credit card. Please inform your bank that you are traveling to the United States and that they should expect to see overseas charges. Many credit cards do not work without prior authorization from the bank. Cincinnati Children's Hospital address, which is 3333 Burnett Avenue, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45229. Your child's appointment schedule at Cincinnati Children's, an international driving permit if you are planning to rent a car. Please bring the permit with you along with your driver's license, airline tickets, and passports for everyone traveling with you. Your U.S. visa, if needed. Most people visiting the United States for medical treatment come here on a B-2 visa. Upon arrival in the U.S., most visitors with B-2 visas receive a six-month permission to stay in this country. If your child's length of treatment will exceed six months, let us know four months after your arrival and one of our international patient coordinators can help you with the application for permission to extend your stay. If your child is coming to Cincinnati Children's by air ambulance, U.S. law requires that you sign and submit consent forms that will be provided by the hospital. Please be sure you receive these forms from Cincinnati Children's and that you fax or email them to the International Patient Care Office before you travel to the U.S. Please note that in the U.S., a person must be 18 years of age to give consent for their own medical treatment. Please contact one of our International Patient Coordinators. Your coordinator will facilitate your child's transfer to Cincinnati Children's and act as a liaison between the families, care providers, financial teams, and sponsors. Healthcare in the United States is not free, and it is extremely expensive if you do not have insurance. If you are accompanying a child who will be treated at Cincinnati Children's, we strongly recommend that you take care of your own health needs before coming to the U.S. Purchase international health insurance that covers you and everyone traveling with you during the time of your visit. The weather in Cincinnati can be unpredictable with sharp temperature fluctuations. If you are visiting in the winter months of November, December, January, and February, please wear layers to stay warm. Bring a warm coat, sweater, hat, scarf, and gloves, and warm shoes. In spring or autumn, the months of March, April, and May, September, and October, a light wool or fleece jacket may be sufficient. In summer months of June, July, and August, light clothing is appropriate. 
However, since all the buildings are air conditioned, we recommend bringing a light sweater indoors even on hot days. Some international flights arrive directly in Cincinnati, but most visitors will first land in a different city, such as New York, Washington DC, Chicago, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, or Houston, and then connect to Cincinnati. At the first U.S. airport in which you land, you will go through passport control and then customs. Please have these documents ready to show. Your passports, U.S. visas, your airline tickets, Cincinnati Children's Hospital address, your child's appointment schedule at Cincinnati Children's, one completed customs declaration form per family. You will receive this during your flight to the United States. Whether you fly directly to Cincinnati or land first in a different city, your final airport destination will be the Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, which is abbreviated as CVG. It is located in the state of Kentucky, a 30-minute drive from Cincinnati. Remember, if Cincinnati is the first U.S. airport you land in, you will have to clear passport control, pick up your luggage, go through customs, drop off your luggage again, and then go through security before entering the airport terminal. After entering the terminal, Please follow the bag claim signs to reclaim your luggage in the airport bag claim area. If you arrive in Cincinnati from another airport in the U.S., please follow the bag claim signs. You may either reach the bag claim area on foot or take the airport train that goes to the bag claim. After you get off the train, please walk to the escalator that will take you up to the baggage claim and ground transportation level. If arrangements have been made for the driver to meet you, he or she will be holding a sign with your name, standing at the bottom of the two escalators that go up to the baggage carousels or conveyor belts. Take the escalator to the baggage carousels. Pick up your baggage at the designated carousel and follow the driver to the vehicle. If you plan to take a taxi, please follow the taxi signs in the baggage claim area. They will bring you to the taxi counter where you can request a taxi. When riding in automobiles in the United States, Seat belts are mandatory for all passengers, and small children must be securely fastened in car seats or booster seats. Children may not sit in other passengers' laps or be held in other passengers' arms when the car is moving. If you plan to rent a car, please visit the airport website at www.cvgairport.com and click on Ground Transportation for details. When you arrive at your hotel, please check in using your passport and a valid credit card at the reception desk. If you prefer, Cincinnati Children's Guest Services can help you with your travel and hotel arrangements and can provide information on any available discounts. They will need a valid credit card to make reservations for you. They can be reached at guestservices at cchmc.org, toll free in the U.S. at 1-888-894 1374 or 1 636 5009, 8 30 a.m. through 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. When you come to Cincinnati Children's, please arrive about 25 minutes before your appointment to allow time to check in. Remember to bring all your passports in your child's appointment schedule. If you must cancel your appointment, please try to cancel at least 24 hours in advance. Please keep in mind that it may not be possible to reschedule your appointment for several days. Please note that no one is allowed to smoke or use tobacco products inside the hospital or on the grounds outside Cincinnati Children's. If you arrive at the hospital in a taxi, ask the driver to drop you off at the hospital's main entrance. If you arrive at the hospital using a rental car, Please park in the visitor parking garage and follow the signs and elevators to the concourse level. Bring your parking ticket with you to be validated or stamped at the welcome centers or appointment registration to get free parking. The hospital is divided into six main buildings called locations A, B, C, and D, where most of your appointments and services will take place. E and F provide hospital support and are not usually visited by patients. Your appointment schedule shows your appointment location. For example, C3 means the appointment is in location C on the third floor. 
your appointment is in either location A or B on floors two through eight, you must check in at the location A or B Welcome Center to receive stickers for outpatient visits or access cards for inpatient stays that permit you to access these floors. Please make sure to have your passports with you as well as the appointment schedule. This is for your safety purposes. It ensures that only patients and approved visitors can enter certain patient areas. When you arrive at your appointment location, your medical interpreter should be there to meet you and will assist you in registering at the check-in desk. The Family Resource Center is located on the first floor between locations A and B. Hi, welcome to the Family Resource Center. Have you guys been in here before? The staff in the center can assist you with information you may need during your stay at Cincinnati Children's. The center provides a relaxing environment, computers with internet access, books, television, a fax and copier, and private offices for families to work. We invite you to use the Family Resource Center when you are at the hospital. They are open from 7.30 a.m. through 8.30 p.m. Monday through Friday and from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. In addition, on the first floor of Location A, you will find an interfaith chapel, admitting office, and the test referral center. Our emergency department is located on the first floor of Location B. The hospital pharmacy, as well as a gift shop, ATMs for your family's banking needs, and a large cafeteria open 24 hours, seven days a week, are located on the first floor of Location C. We hope you found this information helpful in preparing for your visit. To learn more about Cincinnati Children's, please watch our companion video titled, Your Hospital Experience. Thank you again for choosing Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center for your child's care.